What's going on guys, it's j Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris Awards from this past weekend on all three of my characters. This week's map was the Drifter and they finally brought in a year two map for Trials of Osiris after many weeks of year one maps. Uh, in my opinion, this week's map was just okay. I didn't really care for it too much, but I didn't dislike it a lot. I just don't like the close corners and all the tubes in the middle in the inside of the map. Similar to Thieves Den, I didn't really care for that map either, but it was still a pretty decent map overall. I was able to get some nice snipes in and stuff as well. So this week we got some pretty good stuff. We got some new exotics as well, so I'm going to get straight into my rewards. So starting it off with my first character on my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest we ended up getting a Reflection Sum Adept and the new Peregrine Greaves Year 2. So that was pretty cool, I got an exotic there. And my Reflection Sum came in at 318 with Head Seeker on it. So that was actually a really good drop. Almost 320, but still really good. And of course, we got the 310 at Peregrine Greaves Exotic as well. So I was really happy with that first drop. That was some pretty good loot on my first run. Moving on to the bounties on my Titan. From the first four, we got the usual Legendary Marks, Passage Coins, and Motes of Light. From the Silver tier, I also got another exotic. We got Immolation Fist. And then for my gold tier, we got the Elevating Vision Fusion Rifle. So that came in at 308. And the Gauntlets came in at 313. So that was a little bit better. At least it's higher than 310. But still pretty good. At least I got an exotic finally from the Silver tier. Moving on to my next character on my Hunter. From the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves. An exotic once again we got the plan C year 2 a fusion rifle and an inward lamp at 312 so uh, pretty good another exotic to add to my collection so I was really happy about that one as well and then for the bounties on my hunter we got the usual passage coins motes of light legendary marks and for the silver tier we got no exotics there but for the gold tier I ended up having a full inventory so I ended up going back to the Postmaster to see what I got. So heading back to the Postmaster, we ended up picking ourselves up a Binary Dawn shotgun at 305. So that's what I ended up getting on that second gold tier package. And then finishing up on my last character for my Warlock, we ended up picking up another exotic. We got the No Land Beyond Year 2 Primary Sniper Rifle. And we also got another Inward Lamp Adept. And it came in at 312 again. So... My actual Lighthouse Rewards weren't the greatest except the first one. I got a 318 Reflection Sum, but I did end up getting three exotics out of all three Lighthouse Chesses. That was probably the luckiest I've ever gotten over the past few weeks. So that was really good for those three chest openings. And then finishing it off on my last set of bounties for the week, we got some more Passage Coins, Motes of a Light, Legendary Marks. For the Silver Tier, we got no exotics there. But for the gold tier, we ended up getting the Trials of Osiris Ghost Shell, which I actually never got before this. It came in at 307, but that's still pretty cool. It's a new Ghost Shell that I didn't have. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, pretty lucky week for me. I ended up getting four exotics out of all my runs this weekend. So that was really good. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.